Okay, okay. Um, we're gonna see how this goes. So far, this looks exactly like Periscope, so I'm pretty comfortable being here. Um, we're gonna try it out. If you're here, please say hi so I know who's here. Hi guys, this is pretty much like Periscope. I'm Kathy Grillo Design, and this is where you can find me. This is my first time on um, the Twitter Live here, so we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna do a little painting here for you today. Um, I do do art across all over social media. Right now I'm working on this um, glitterified peacock. So please feel free to talk and we'll get to know each other over here on, uh, on Twitter. I'm sure some of you follow me on other medias, but this is Debbie. Hey Deb, I'm trying out this uh, Twitter deal. Is my music too loud? What? 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 This is Twitter Live! Twitter Live. I don't know. It's brand new. <laughs> it's brand new. Hi! Say hi to Jen for me, Doug. Deaf Proud is Deaf Deaf, so tell him I say hi. Deaf Proud, his name is Vin, he can't hear me, so tell him I said hi. Alright. <laughs> I'm just I'm just playing around with this, and then there's also Instagram is uh, live streaming now. The only difference is, like on Instagram, um, you cannot, it doesn't save. As soon as the video is over, it's gone, and nobody can see it again. Okay, well thanks. Thanks, something else to check out, right? <laughs> it's always fun. Oh no, this is this is um just a canvas. The walls up there. There's the wall. <laughs> Thanks. I'm still working on it. I've been busy with other stuff that I really haven't worked on it. Alright. So it comes out a little thicker, so I do need to paint it instead of um, relying on it. I don't know, man. This is something different. But it's, Debbie, it looks exactly like Periscope. I'm going to say right now that it, the format and everything looks just like Periscope. Thanks. So I don't know how the two are going to um, interact and work together or what the situation is there. But I guess uh, we will see what the powers that be have for us. So basically, I'm just painting to um, add the glitter to it. Can't see very well. I need a better light. The only thing is, is this might help with the uh, Twitter followers. I'm not sure. What does anybody else think about this? If you're in here, you want to pop up and say what you think of this new little uh, thing on Twitter. I know over on Periscope. Some people are worried, I think, that since Twitter is basically owns Periscope and now they're doing their own live streaming, the Periscope thing might go away. I am not sure. Hopefully, and this is going to be a mess. Hopefully, I mean, I'm going to shake the table here a little bit, guys. I need to tilt it a little different. Hopefully, the um, powers that be won't mess with it too much. That's what I'm hoping. Hi, thanks for coming. We're just discussing. This is my first time here on the Twitter Live. Obviously, it's something that's brand new. So, um, it's going to be experimental, I'm sure. 
tap that around a little bit. <laughs> yep, I am. <laughs> oh, never mind. You got it. All sorts of glitter out here. So, yeah, I saw this news today about it on here, and I just kind of really wanted to um, see what it was about, more or less. What color? I want to do green, like a green, I think, in there. Hi, Jeanette. Hi. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is my first time I'm trying out this Twitter, um, live deal. Have you tried it out yet? Hi, Chandra. Whoa. I didn't lock my thing into place. No, the chalkboard wall is right up there. <laughs> There's the chalkboard wall. Thank you. I've been working, oh my goodness, I've been working on this for a while. I don't have this very well planned out. <laughs> so I appreciate uh, the um, patience here for you guys. This is my very first, my very first uh, Twitter live deal. And basically I heard about it today and just kind of wanted to check it out. So far, if you have not done Twitter live yet, it, um... It's really reminding me of Periscope. It looks exactly like Periscope. Oh, this is probably for me. This one might be for my son and his fiance. I'm not sure yet. Not sure yet. I'm just, I've never done one like this. I just kind of had the idea. So I'm just kind of playing around with it. Seeing what happens. And, um, that's about it. You know, I don't really do Twitter either, but if, um, I have Twitter simply because it connects to my Periscope, and, um, people can watch the Periscopes through Twitter, and that's the only reason I really got back on Twitter. I don't really understand. Like, I've been trying to gain followers on Twitter. It, it's very slow here and there. Most of it is because of other people I know, but um, if they start, if this live streaming thing works, I think it might be a better way for me to connect with people. You're a social, I have so much social media, do you see all this? This is all my social media, I think I'm going to be removing Twitch though, because I don't really go on Twitch and it seems to be a little bit of a more of a um, anime type crowd, but I think the Twitch... I'll probably end up being on, um, try out Instagram, and then the, the Twitter Live and Periscope for live streaming. That's already three. And then I repost stuff on YouTube, but, you know, just gotta get your name out there and try it all. So you're on Periscope, okay, so it's gonna be working both ways. All right, that's good to know, thanks for the info, see, so if you, I guess if you... If you go on Periscope, you can see it on Twitter. And if you go on Twitter, you can see it on Periscope. That is interesting news. Um, my thoughts are, I'm wondering if eventually Periscope's going to just be totally integrated into this Twitter Live thing. Because it looks exactly like Periscope. I mean, I know Twitter already owns Periscope. Okay, yeah, see, I already know that Twitter owns Periscope. They already own Periscope. Have for a while, and that's when I re-upped my Twitter and got my art account. It was a mess because I was on Twitter, like, a long time ago, but I didn't really have a reason to do Twitter, so I didn't really do it, you know? And then, um, yeah, say what? And, and so then... <laughs> when 
Paris when t when Twitter bought Periscope and started. Oh, you didn't know. Okay, so when Twitter bought Periscope and started sharing the Periscope live streams on Twitter. So, like, if your Twitter account was connected with your Periscope account, whenever you go on Periscope, people on Twitter would see your Periscope videos, and it helped bring in, like, a little bit of a bigger audience from that way. And that's the only reason I went and uh, refigured out this Twitter account. And then, of course, you know, like, I'll... I can't even say, retweet things and, you know, put things out with my friends and share them, but I'm not, like, really on here tweeting or, I, I guess I talk too much, the limited, the limited, uh, characters drive me nuts. <laughs> it might have been, I don't know, D tell, tell Vinny maybe, he deaf, proud, can't hear, I don't have anything to write right now, somebody can tell him, maybe? I, I didn't see it on my end, but if you guys saw a little flash, that happens sometimes. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for coming by, you guys. I was afraid I was going to come on here and not have anybody. But so it's good to know if I come on here, my Periscope people can see it too. So I'm trying to figure all this out. No, it's just, um, it's just little paint. And then I'm throwing glitter on it. It's just stuff I had around here to play around with for fun, really. <laughs> I have another one. I have this is the male, and I have a female. I have a female one drawn out too. So I have another one drawn out that's not started yet. Thanks for the hearts. I don't know how they work here. And then the other thing that just started live streaming is the Instagram. And the only problem I have over at Instagram... Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. The only problem I have with Instagram um, live stream right now is they're not saving it. It's like old school, old, old school Periscope. Once you're done, it is done. It is gone. So, as an artist trying to build an audience... I don't necessarily love that aspect. I like people be to be able to um, see. Oh, I see. I have all my notifications turned off because it just got too much when you start following so many people and what you have to do when you're trying to build an audience, you know. But basically, that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get my name out there, uh, have some people enjoy what I do. All right? I'm just checking this around. Make some friends, share the art and the love, and if somebody wants me to make something for them, that's great, because eventually when I'm done with my nanny job, I would rather do art than be a greeter at Walmart. <laughs> Just saying, I'd rather work at home and pay for people. So I really don't have anything planned with these colors. I'm just kind of um, throwing them in as I go. Mixing of my glitters. This is nope. It's not. Do you believe I don't decorate for Christmas? I really don't. Other than my stock, my snowflake I put on my wall. Um, couple reasons. I saw that flash now too. I just saw that. Okay. Couple reasons is my kids are older and nobody really cares about it. We usually go out of town, or at least maybe not all of us, because my kids sometimes have to work. Um, they're in the medical field and stuff, but we usually are not even home for the holidays. So it's like nobody's, my family's all out of state. I used to. I did do a great job. <laughs> I don't have room for the kind of tree I really want in my living room. It's kind of a small little living area. and I'm just like, you know... I have a little fiber optic tree that I can just plug in. It's just like I do all the work. Nobody helps out. And then I have to, it's just like one other job that I have to like do and put everything away. I used to love it. Maybe, maybe when I get grandkids. I could see me doing it again when I have grandkids. You know? But... It's like I'm not even, I'm not here that much. We end up going 
when it's usually me and my husband usually end up spending like almost a week in Ohio at my sister's and my family's house, so yeah. And my husband doesn't like to decorate like he is not going to be out there hanging lights outside and, uh, you know, he would bring the boxes down from the attic for me and be like, there you go, and like, I'd be up there struggling with everything and it's like, forget it, there's no fun for me anymore. Um, he's not a bad, grumpy guy, I, I, he didn't have a great childhood. So Christmas, like holidays are a little hard for him. He has gotten used to in the last 26 years to um, how close my family is in our celebrations. But I think he still has a little bit of um, rough memories from being a, a kid, unfortunately. So... <laughs> the first time he came to my house for Thanksgiving with my family, he ended up getting up and leaving. Yeah, he ended up getting up and leaving in the middle of Thanksgiving dinner because he had never had like a family sit down Thanksgiving dinner, and it was really emotional for him. And he didn't like it. He, he couldn't. He couldn't take it. And he got up and he like left. And we were all sitting at the table going, "What?" I, I was. I was like, "I can't believe he just did that." And he just, like, got up and said, I can't do this. And he, like, left in the middle of dinner. Yeah. Not that his parents were bad. I mean, they just were, like, they got divorced when he was little. And they were all busy doing their own thing a lot. And so his mom didn't really have a lot of family here. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, oh, my table just moved. He didn't have a lot of family here. They didn't do a lot of, like, family stuff. His dad was kind of like, eh. His dad got married again. And, I mean, he went over to his dad. But they didn't really celebrate that, like, you know, a close family or anything. So it was just kind of weird. Just kind of weird. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. I just didn't tighten the bolts on my um, table. I'm still here. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> Okay, this is fun. I'm going to try to do this more often. This is not bad. It's like Periscope, the same deal. Yeah, I mean, when we had kids, he used to go all out for Christmas because he wanted our kids to have Christmas that he, um, that he didn't have. He's a best dad. So, it's just, uh, it's still like family stuff, you know, like, we'll... Oh, yeah. it's. I feel bad for his mom. She's super nice. Her new husband's kind of an ass, but we kind of come to, to um, uh, you know, we know how to deal with it, and we get along. Everybody gets along. But we'll, we'll drive right past her house going to visit my family for weekends. Like, his mother won't even know we're in Ohio. Like, we've done that numerous times where... Uh, where, where we go right past her house, and I feel bad for her, but they kind of did it to themselves. So, what are you going to do? I don't know. Family, right? Family. <laughs> and then he married into a family. Yeah, and then he married into a family where, like, my sisters and my mom and everybody were all, like, best friends. And, you know, yeah. Like, nothing, even though I live in another state, nothing can happen without everybody knowing about it ten minutes later, and we have a, our own little family group message chat, and we're constantly talking about stuff, and so that's what he had to get used to. Like, a family that actually enjoys being together, he didn't know what that was. Kind of sad, right? Like, I think he said he had one birthday party. I live in the country kind of too. Well, it's quiet where I live. I live on an island. But, you know, he, he went to, had one birthday party. He went to the zoo once. And, like, he doesn't know any of, like, those Disney stories because he never got taken to the movies and things like that. It was really weird. Kind of sad and weird. Okay. But, I don't know. So those are his issues. We all have our issues to do.
deal with, right? I think I locked. Oh, there it is in the water. I'm like, where's my other brush? You're homesick. Oh no! Like a fluey thing. Aww. You're homebound. Yeah, that's hard too. Ain't it? I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad we have technology like this. That um, you can socialize with people, you know. I mean, think that that's amazing, you know, that we have this kind of technology, and you guys can come and visit me and hang out. I love having you. So, Shonda, come visit me all the time. I love it. <laughs> Even if I just have one person that's sitting here enjoying what I'm doing, it makes me happy. So, oh, anytime. I love talking with everybody. So, you know. And if you follow me, Shonda, do you follow do you follow me on my um my Facebook page? On Facebook, do you follow me? Hey, you want to look up Kathy Griller Designs on Facebook and follow me? And then you can always send me a message on Messenger or something. If you're lonely or you just want somebody to talk to, send me a message. I'm always on that social media, like messaging or uh, whatever. Feel free to do so. Got a friend. Just to say hi or whatever if you're lonely. I'm up for it. <laughs> Ooh. That sounds cool. I used to, I do like, I'm a nanny, so I like all those kids' craft stuff. I do stuff with the kids that I watch, too, when we have time. In the summer, mostly. Oop. School break. Gotta get dip glittered. And then, see, I have a, uh, when I shake the glitter off, I'm saving it all mixed up in this bag. So this is an all mix of colors that I can like randomly use in. Okay, cool. Awesome. I mean, depending on how well you want to get to know me, you can just look me up on regular Facebook too. The Kathy Grill of Designs is just my um, artist page and it's all about the art stuff. But I have a regular page too. But who knows what you're going to get on there. You'll get pictures of my dogs, my kids, my boat, whatever. I, don't know. I just mostly I post pictures from my family on Facebook. It's mostly what I use Facebook for now. Is um so my family can see my photo, <laughs> right? It's like okay, sure. I'll do. Ooh. Ooh. I'd love to see pictures of one of those finished. That would be really pretty. I want the other purple now, but I'm not going to do that. This looks a little... Oh, okay. That sounds cool. Pinterest is awesome, isn't it? I love Pinterest. Pinterest! I'm on Pinterest too, you guys. Have you seen me so much? I post all over the place. People are probably sick of seeing my art like everywhere, all over social media. Oh, there she is again. It's okay. My thought is if you don't want to see it, scroll on by. <laughs> scroll on by and don't look at it if you don't want to. <laughs> Oh, me? Me? Yeah, my life is a little crazy. I like my life. It's good. I have a wonderful husband, three great kids, two cute dogs. You know? Pretty good family. My husband kind of um, puts up with my... He's the serious one, so... 
puts up with my craziness. It's all good. Yes, I did. I did. It's on, um, I don't have my computer on right now where I'd show you. It's posted on my Instagram and my, uh, I think it ha I have it on my Facebook. I mean, I post everything on the Facebook page, but I don't think I have it in an album because it's not usually what I do. But it's on Instagram. Yeah, if you message me, if you message me or something, I can direct send it to you if you want to see it. It's cute. And now um, he wants me to do Spy Fox or something to go with it. So he, that's on my list. <laughs> I have a cat portrait I should be working on for my one son who um, has moved out of state. For some girl. Hmm. Can you draw this cat portrait for some girl? Of course, for free. You know, your kids. What are you going to do? And then, and then, um, Kyle wants me to do another character for him. Oh, they, yeah, well, they don't get it. My husband doesn't do social media at all. He just um, contacts anybody through mine. My kids do all their own thing, but, um, you know, they've learned to tolerate my scoping stuff. It's like I'm trying to get on a schedule where I'm, I know I have my scheduled scopes that I do with the group, and I need to try to get on a little more of my own schedule, but it's hard. I wish I could do this like five days a week, like an office. I would just be in here for about eight hours a day, and I would have set schedules, and um, I would get a whole lot done really fast that way. But I really only have Mondays and Fridays for full art days in here. But that's all right. It'll come, it'll come. only been at it for about a year, so I'm being patient. It'll, it'll happen. Just keep putting it out to the universe of what I would like to do, and hopefully the right people who need to find me will, and in the meantime, I have some great friends and support, and like you guys, I can be in here and not feel like I'm by myself. It's like, hey, come in, have some coffee in my studio and chat with me while I'm trying to figure some stuff out. I love it. I need a brace needs to be put on this this easel I got for ten dollars. Okay, great, awesome. This easel <laughs> I got for ten dollars at a garage sale. I think somebody made it, but I think I need my husband needs to like put look at ah, it moves a lot. I need like a bracer or something put it in. Oh, another thing to add to his list, and he'll be like, thanks. All right, I'm just kind of checking out. My color scheme. I'm trying to stay in that like purple, blue, pink. I think that's where it's from. It's henna inspired. It's um I did a I did a doodle. I I met all these henna ladies that are awesome and I love their art and I did a doodle of um you know me, I can't just do a simple doodle thing, right? So I did this complicated peacock thing, and I kind of liked it. Hi, Nico. Hi. I kind of liked it, and um, I was like, okay, let's let's paint that. And I said, oh, I'm black with glitter, because I had it. And there I go. I've been working on this on and off. Hi, are you on Periscope or Twitter? Because I am broadcasting from Twitter Live, Nico. Okay. I'm trying this Twitter Live thing, and it looks exactly like Periscope. Okay, see? Okay, good to know. Um, my thoughts... My thoughts are, I think... I've been hearing the little rumors, and I, I don't know who to believe or not anyway, but I've seen a couple scopes now saying that... Uh, let me put it this way. I don't know how to say it, because I don't want to say stuff and start it. Um... I wouldn't be surprised, put it this way, I wouldn't be surprised if Periscope gets totally integrated into Twitter with this Twitter Live thing, because it looks exactly like Periscope. 
And instead of Periscope, it would just be Twitter and Twitter Live. I'm not going to say I would be surprised if that happened. So I will, go, I will go out and say that. Not that I don't think it would affect any of us in the group or anything too much. Yes, Periscope is a part of Twitter. Yep. And now Twitter has Twitter Live, which looks just like Periscope. So, what are they going to be spending their money on, right? Just saying, I mean, they already own Periscope. So why would you own two formats that basically do the same thing? Do you see what I'm saying? So, I wouldn't be surprised if that's where this might be headed. Right, but it, guess what? Then if you want to be on Periscope or you love Periscope so much, what would you do? Think about it. What would you do if you didn't have Twitter but you were on Periscope? And then all of a sudden, I know I love Periscope, but this is exactly the same thing. Right now, I went to, I went to Twitter, hit, hit live, and I'm broadcasting live, supposedly from my Twitter, but it looks exactly like Periscope and showing up on Periscope. That's all I'm saying. That um, it would just force everybody who's on Periscope that doesn't have Twitter to get Twitter. From a business point of view, I mean, they don't really make money on Periscope. To think about it, peeps. I don't know what your feelings on it. I wouldn't do it. Shauna, keep your Twitter because you might need it. Just for the live streaming. I wouldn't get rid of it. Yeah. I wouldn't get rid of it. I mean, it's they're not competing against each other. It's the exact same, it's the exact same app, basically. It just has a different name. And Twitter already owns Periscope. And I think they're just kind of, it's like a buyout thing. I use Twitter too somewhat. I just find it, I find it hard to gain followers. I mean, I gain them here and there a couple of week. I keep track of it, but it just is like not, I don't know. But I think with this, where I can connect to people this way, and they can watch me a little more, I think it might, it might work out a little better eventually for me. I don't know. It's hard to say. Hard to say. Okay. I mean, I'm not a business genius or anything, but Perioki? Is that with Perry Girls? Is that with the Perry Girls? They do the karaoke where they sing and do stuff. Okay, yeah, I've heard of them. I'm actually in Perry Girls. Is that where you found me from? I don't get a lot of people who who comment or find me on Perry Girls too often, which is kind of upsetting to me. Yeah, it is. So. Yeah, I'm not real active on Perry Girls just because every time I've tried to be over on Perry Girls, um, it just seems like it's more business oriented and my, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't really fit in so much, if that makes sense. I mean, people I tend to have met. Do you? Okay. I, I, I just feel that it's all, um, and granted, I'm going to say right now, like, my art is sort of a business. I mean, I do do commissions. Yes, I'm using Twitter. I am. But I do do commissions and things for people, so, I mean, it is part of a business, but that's not what it's all about for me. And 
it just seems that it's always like business talk, how to do your business, how to do, and I'm just more creative. I can't, I can't do business stuff like that. Right? Yeah. Like I can't, the Perry girls are great. And I admire, I mean, look at, look at all their followers. I have, I love being part of it. I just don't, um, I don't, I don't think they get me. I mean, they'll be like, oh, nice stuff. And then, you know, like, I don't have people showing up for my scopes from Perry Girls very often like they do. So, not that I'm saying, ooh, follow me or I'm not going to do, I just, you know, I just don't seem to fit in. Which, um, if you're an artist, that you're, that's not an uncommon thing, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Which, as an artist, I, I think we're kind of used to not really always fitting in. A lot of people, unless you're an artist, yeah, unless you're an artist, um, that's good. Yeah, I meet, I meet a lot of nice people, too. I go to them. I just don't have time to do all that business stuff that they, you know, some of the really active people do. And that's fine. I mean, that's their thing. This art group, like LDCC, that, you know, LDCC and the art scopes is my thing. Yeah. So, that's why we all have all the different stuff. It's just nice to kind of work together. Um, whoever's a member of LDCC here, just so you know, there's some, there's some, there's some um, big uh, connections happening over there. We're working on some uh, friendly stuff. You're lucky. I've always, I always worry about everybody else, Shonda. I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> it's probably why I'm on anxiety meds. I always, <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, I'm always like, I'm always concerned about everybody. Yeah, yeah, the LDCC, uh, we have some cooperative things going on, and it, it, you know, I'm trying to help them get a little more organized with some of the stuff. She has some great ideas, so trying to be supportive over there. They're the ones, and the reason is that, um, what, nobody returns the favor of what, sweets? Oh, if you're nice and think to them, hmm, I'm lucky. I guess I never had that. I mean, I tend to, maybe not as much, but it's just who I am. Yeah, well, it's just who I am. I can't change it. Figured it'll come back to me some way. I've helped a lot of people, and most of them seem to be appreciative, and I'm always there to be a friend, you know? Had my own stuff to deal with, but I know what you mean. I get ya. <clears throat> What's up? Yeah. Huh? If I did it, be up in there. Right, yeah, I don't do things for people and expect anybody to do anything. This is I'm looking at the That's one. Not. Okay. You said it was up there. Well, it got put in the wrong spot then. Sorry. Ooh, kids. <laughs> right, it's just who you are. It's just who I am. I can't help it. Unless somebody's blatantly, blatantly, like somebody has to be really blatantly mean to me. And unfortunately, it's happened a few times, but somebody has to really be, uh, you know what, to get me super riled up. And um, I'm pretty understanding about people's issues and things, and I just try to help them out and be understanding. You know, what can I, what can we do in this world? I mean, that's just, I don't know, You've got to try to help make it a better place. Right there. What are you making? What are you doing? <sighs> okay, kid. Yeah. I mean, I think the things like 
this, where I, we can meet people from all over the world, I think has really, really helped a little bit. I mean, like, I understand people and their cultures or situations that I probably never would have understood before meeting some people here. Um, live streaming, hey, it's live. We can say whatever we want to each other. You know, I've told people in Syria that please don't think we all hate you. This is not, um, you know, not the reality of this, the, you know, this government shouldn't make us all think badly of each other as people. And we get to do that because it's not censored, unlike China, where they can't even get live streaming because of their government. Yeah, so how did Vin? He's there. So, you know, right? I don't know. I think the only, the only, the only way to be so much successful is to put aside all the petty stuff. And try, we need to try to care about each other. Just as fellow humans, you know? So, I don't know. Doesn't that much. Fun. The world is a. Crazy, crazy world. Yeah, and that's not, that's totally true, isn't it? I mean, yeah, you know, when you, if you, you know, I don't know, know you guys like in real life. But, you know, there's been a couple incidents where, you know, I've had a friend. Oh, that's sorry. I'm sorry. But, you know, I have a friend who lives in Nepal. And there was an earthquake in Nepal. I've never met him. I know him through talking to him here on social media, you know. And until I heard from him again, I was seriously, like, trying to find out, making sure he was okay. You know, my friend that's in Nepal. I did you know, it's the same thing. Can you twist? I don't know. I have no idea. This is my very first time. I just, I didn't even know it existed until I saw somebody actually um, post about it. So I'm not sure. Yeah. We're all just trying to find our way to be happy. You know, if you think about it. Even the people who are angry, anger is just an outward show of um, hurt and sadness and frustration. That's what anger really is. So when we have people who are angry, it's really because they're hurt and don't know how to um, deal with being hurt. Oh, that was a lot. Had the wrong opening open. Oh well, now it's orange. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Alright. I'm not just coming across. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. I'm trying. It's still kind of a hot mess. It's not exactly how I thought it would be, but, you know, carry on. Carry on and finish it, and then I'll have two of them, and I'll still hang somewhere for something, eventually. Basically, I was recycling two canvases. I got these canvases, and they, the paintings weren't the best, and I painted over them. Painted them black. Which I think I'm going to have to do another layer of black, because I have some marks up there. Okay. Okay, yay. I hope you're feeling better. Is it like arthritis?
arthritis or something, sweetie? Ugh. This time of year is terrible for that, I know. Getting old. Getting older sucks. <laughs> the, only, the only thing I keep reminding myself is that not getting older would be worse. <laughs> you know, like, alright, getting older, but it's better than the alternative. And that, I didn't always feel that way, so I will admit that to you. I didn't always feel that way, so I'm glad I feel that way now. coloring books because I just am always coloring my own stuff if that makes any sense you know like I'm always um yeah it's it's I painted it black but yeah I, I I have enough of my own stuff that I'm painting all the time so I really don't do the coloring books and like when I'm watching tv I'm always doing my um my little index card doodles. You've seen those, right? So I'm either making mandalas or little tree sketches or, you know, I just doodle all the time. It actually helps me concentrate more. It's kind of weird. Like right here, I don't have any plan for this. It's just going to be the colors that end up showing up. That's what it's going to end up being. Did you? See, I, I don't know. That would just take a lot of effort. I don't have all that time. I probably could do it really easy digitally and just print them out. But the only people I would send them to are really my family who I end up seeing anyway. <laughs> you tell, yeah, I just love the holidays. No. I do and I don't. Like, it's sad. Christmas used to be like my favorite, favorite time of the year. And it just, now it just stresses me out pretty much. I still like it, just not as... I like Thanksgiving a lot better. That was still kind of wet. So this paint's not going to have glitter on it. There's like glitter in this paint. So I just want a little bit of a shimmery. I know, right? And they don't realize, oh, it's a Christmas card she made. Like, it's a piece of art. That's sad. So you see, you only need to make them to the people who would appreciate it. But I don't even mail Christmas cards out. Everybody I'm going to see that I would mail them to, I probably pretty much um, am going to see on Christmas. Yeah. Time and money, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get ya. Okay. Alright, that should 
dry hopefully and just have a little bit of natural glitter in it I'm hoping. Like you won't see, you're not going to see the white part, it's just going to be glitter, it'll dry clear. guys all on like uh, my social media more than I do like my real friends my neighbors that I hang out with I go out with once in a while I talk to her somewhat but you know they're busy they don't tell <laughs> my one best friend back home I'm like you gotta get on Facebook because then I'll you'll hear from me all the time I talk to my mom and my sisters all the time. We have our own little message thing because we're, we're all on Facebook. My dad's like, oh, you never call. And I go, I don't need to call mom because I talk to her like every day on Messenger or group message or on Facebook or something. You, you don't understand it. I don't need to physically pick up the phone and call her. We talk it all the time. I need to that. Okay, yeah, go get warm. Go get warm and snuggly. Is it your legs? I get trouble with my big toe. Is that weird? Like, my, it's my big toe that bothers me. Hi, thanks for joining. I'm just having some fun chatting here today. Thanks for joining the combo. home early from my job today which made me happy the two little girls that I babysit had a um, Christmas party at their karate dojo so they were both gone and when they were both gone that means I get to go home which I don't mind being there it's like four houses away but I'd rather be home painting that's for sure Do that more to help a neighbor out, really, than the money because she doesn't pay me a whole you know, I get paid, but not like extreme amount. <laughs> I want to mix. Oh, yeah, I used to do competitive skating. And so I had some old um, injuries, and then I'm going to say about six, seven years ago, I was leaving my mother's house, <laughs> and I thought I was on the last step of her porch, and I was not on the last step, and I twisted my ankle like super bad, and aww, Queenie. See, you're a blessing. Anyway, so I twisted my ankle really bad. And, uh, <laughs> we didn't have insurance. Yeah, we didn't have insurance at the time. And we had government insurance. My husband was unemployed. And I didn't go to the doctor because I went to my sister. And she said, well, it's not broken. And it wasn't broken, but... It did tear all sorts of shades of purple and yellow, and it was not fun. And every once in a while, now I can tell the weather. I get glitter all over the place. I'm so glitterified. Look at glitter all over me. It's all over my black pants, too. I love it. And on the studio floor. Glitter, glitter. I don't care. I don't care. The 
world doesn't have enough glitter in it. <laughs> just think how pretty everything would be if we just had glitter. What are they watching? Oh, there's a movie called, um... Oh, there you go. There's a movie called My Dumb Diary or something that the girls I babysit watch. And the girl in there, she's sort of arty, and she, like, blunt, she puts glitter on everything, and I just think it was so cute. She has these dreams of, like, glitter being everywhere and having a degree in glitterology or something like that. It's just funny. Oh, what you making? Are you making something good? <laughs> okay. I, I'm probably just going to end up making, um, ooh, what are you making? Hmm. I'll probably end up throwing together meatloaf or something stupid. All right, thanks. Thanks for coming. Glad to see you. noodles? Is it rice noodles? Or egg noodle? This paint doesn't paint really well. I don't know. Not rice? Oh, no. well, I'm trying to cut back on carbs. I've been looking for rice noodle stuff in brown rice. It's not fun. I had some tater tots last night though. It was bad. <laughs> oh no, I have chicken defrosted. I'm going to make something with chicken. I forgot. I think my husband just came home. So I'll probably be getting off of here soon. Um, I just kind of wanted to try this out. My next, um, my next tryout will be on Instagram. Cauliflower tots. Can you buy them at the store? I have to see. I want frozen ones that I could just make when I come home from work and dip in ketchup. I think it might be more about the ketchup than the than the potato. I'm going to have to look now. Look at you! My husband will be like, what? I'm looking. I love, like, roasted vegetables and things like that. Love it. So. That is awesome. Alright. Well, I have to go do my mom job now, I think. But this is cool to try out. It looks just like Periscope, in case anybody's wondering. I signed up through Twitter, so I guess they kind of both work the same way. And people will find you on either one. I guess just like people on Twitter will see your 
um, periscopes. Thank you. It's like when people on Twitter see your periscopes, I think people on Periscope can now see these Twitters, which is kind of a cool idea. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm going to do an Instagram live maybe tomorrow because I'm probably going to be too tired today. But the only problem with Instagram Live is you have to catch the person live. That's the only thing I'm not liking about Instagram Live, which is another new thing there. That um, once the video is done, it's done and gone. Which I guess for some people would be a good thing. But like when you're trying to get an art audience, it might not always be a good thing. But I don't know. It's worth trying out simply because um, my Instagram has been growing rapidly over there. And I think it'd be nice to give people like a little peek in on me actually working instead of just seeing the finished stuff. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes, huh? Alright. Well, thanks for joining me on this little experiment. You can always follow me at any of these places if you want to see how this turns out. And um, I will be on Periscope on Friday morning at noon, I think, this week, instead of 11, because at 11 o'clock, um, one of my henna friends is doing um, a special henna for somebody that's going to be going to have a mastectomy, so it's a breast cancer henna um, thing at 11 o'clock, but I will be on at noon on Friday, so feel free to join me then. If I have time tomorrow, I'm going to try to hop on Instagram and see how that goes. And I hope to see you guys all around. Let me back you off here. Get a little view. Get out of my way. So this is where I'm at so far. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's getting there. Slowly. And see, there's my wall. And that's how I feel. Alright, so thanks guys. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. I wish you all a great night. And I hope to see you soon.